so in this video i'm going to show you how skna uses this type of images or stock footage to create this type of film style look and in this video i'm going to show you how to do this and it actually uses this to create transitions in its edit so without wasting your time guys i'm going to show you basically how he does that so okay guys now we're in after effect and this is our composition so i just took a snapshot of how we are going to create this and since we're not going to get the same element but we're going to create our own so this is my character here so i'm going to drop him into the comp and i'm going to resize him and see from the image we have this type of textures and we can see our images within the the space here and we need to create that and we can also see our 3d test and our line passing through the test let's create a new solid then of the solid then we get our paint tool here so go for your paint tool and just make so let's start with the model one so i'm just going to create so just create a max like this so now turn on your solid and now just put it behind our character here now let's create another solid with this also turn it off and make the shape also like this and also turn it on and let's go for the last part here also create another new solid so we have this so for the first one and we're going to add a fill so I'll go for this and make sure you add your table and displays. Just go to our gain and just bring the gain down like this. And now let's play with our details, uh, the scale. Increase the gain just a bit. So let's go into our pre-comp and now let's copy the settings here, control C and go to uh, let's paste this control v to get the same effect control v and we have this also here so with this we can add our texture so now let's go to our first texture and let's add our s texture noise and balls let's go to our preset so let's go for a preset like this here so i'll go for this go in and just change the color go for something like this and copy the same thing to the remaining layers i have some screenshots of some of the characters images so i'm going to put them in the comb kill this down and position this to this side here so with this now go to our texture and add a drop shadow Let's click go to transform flip horizontal let's bring this one here then i'll just add a drop shadow so now let's add depth to this add bcc raise puffy add it to our shapes and now go to intensity increase the intensity and bring down the ray length and you just go into our our option and choose for any color we want so add it to the remaining comps a new solid again new solid and just select your ellipse tool and now let's make a shape like this and select your move tool and bring your shape just down like so so i'll just go to my snapshot so I'll put my D, I'll put my A, bring down the exposure again. All we have to do now is just recompose all of them. So select this, and now we have all of this. Then just bring it down, position it just a bit, and we're going to add scan lines. Just choose the angle you want this to be and now let's add a drop shadow i'll add the deep glow 
so just get your pen tool and we're going to create a shape we are going to build it from here so we're going to create a new shape so the rope is going to pass here we'll have it here so so far this is what we have here so just go and increase the stroke and with the help of our luster so search for luster and apply luster to our shape and i'll go to my settings and i'll go to the bevel and increase the bevel just a bit and the highlights so i'll just go and change the color this is what we have here with the help of our paint tool so grab our paint tool go to your shape let's create a max here so i'll go to this side go to your max and now create a point here another point here then let's go and create a max and just go to subtract so go to your shape layer max and just go to subtract also we're going to do the same thing so just select this side here select this side and select this side select this side and make a nice selection and we're also going to do the same thing we're going to subtract this two just create a max here go to your and go to just go to subtract and now pre-compose our character our shape tool here and now let's create a shape and now increase the fill select the fill color to pre-compose and move into the shape and now let's add a stroke so with this just add a luster to this move it to this side here now so now create a track mat with your shape and with our our stroke let's change the color of our luster for the stroke we can change the size and let's go to our main comp here and we can see this is what we have just move it below and convert it to 3d and now let's rotate it so with this you can add our scan lines too you can change the angle so you can do same for here and you just go into your uh, settings and just check any presets you desire so i'll just go for any of this you can put this one here and just add a shadow the glow so guys basically i'm just showing you how to create this this is not actually the same as his asset he uses different from mine but i'm just trying to show you how you can create this and how you can make it your own so i'll be leaving this project for our man pay if you are new here can you subscribe most of you watching this video haven't subscribed kindly subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in my next video peace